Hello battery lovers! Today I've got one of those strange cells who don't have any date sheet available, and it's also a very rare cell which is mainly sold in China. I'm talking about Senyue UR18650ZK, which is a 2500 mAh rated low drain 18650 cell. Though it's a genuine Senyo, it's manufactured in Nanjing, China. Whatever, let me remind you my testing conditions and pass to the results of capacity tests. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle, the battery was charged at its standard charging current, which is mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left for one hour minimum, as the standard requires. After discharging cycle, the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. Traditionally, Senyo doesn't print the marking on the heatshrink tube. They emboss it in a way that is very hard to read. The cell which I've tested isn't an exception and it has the following marking. Senyo ZUR18650ZK V23A as I told in the beginning, this guy doesn't have any datasheet, so I had to use the following values for testing. Capacity, 2500 mAh. Standard charge current, 1.25 amps. Charge end voltage, 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current, 100 mA. Maximum discharge current, which is mentioned by suppliers, 5 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage, 2.5 volts. The measured weight of my cell was 46 grams and the DC internal resistance at 2.5 amps in fully charged condition was around 38 milliohms. Usually lithium ion cells reach their maximum capacity at the first or second round of the test, then it starts to decline. UR18650ZK demonstrated an unusual behavior because its capacity was higher and higher with each round. I tested it 7 times at each discharge rate and at 0.5 amps the capacity kept on rising up to the end. At 2 amps it started to decline from 6th round and at 5 amps from 5th round. It's a good sign which makes me suggest that the cell gonna stay close to the rated capacity for a long time. Now let's look at the results. At 0.2C or 0.5 amps Senyo UR18650ZK gave out 2672 mAh or 9767 milliwatt hours. At 2 amp discharge rate, the result was 2479 mAh or 8753 milliwatt hours. At 5 amps, 2482 mAh or 8264 milliwatt hours. At the end of the day, this strange senior cell seems to be an excellent performer with a very attractive price. To tell the truth, I didn't expect such a surprise. That's all I wanted to tell about this guy. Keep on hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified about new videos. Bye bye.